Hey, it's Steph. Thanks for clicking on my video. I've been seeing this type of video going around in the planner community and I really have been a fan of it. It's the um, kit lineup. So I'm doing one of these videos for you today. It's doing my kit lineup for the month of May. I do have a weekly kit tracker that I got from Cress Press, but I don't know, it's just a little hard to keep a track of when, you know, so many kits are coming in and I have to keep erasing them and moving them around. So I thought it'd be fun to just go through my kits with you and kind of decide which ones I want to use in the month of May. So here I have my two uh, uh, albums. I got these from Simply Gilded. Both of these were in sub boxes. So this one here is for like my anytime kits or kits that haven't been assigned the week or like seasonal kits, that type of thing. This is where I, at the beginning of the year, I went through and I tried to assign as many kits to weeks as I could, but obviously it's gotten a bit out of hand and out of order. So yeah. Um, hope y'all have fun helping me decide what kits to use and definitely leave comments down below if you think I should use a different kit for a different week. You know, just let me know what you think. So starting off the May monthly, I have this kit here from Jessica Hart. It's a really pretty lavender kit. It says you're more than enough and yeah, I'm super excited to use this one. So we'll set this one aside and so we can put it away. Well, actually, let me just go ahead and take these out. So this will be the first one in May. And then the first week of May has Mother's Day and Cinco de Mayo. And I am Mexican, so I do celebrate Cinco de Mayo a little bit. And I have this kit from uh, Scribble Prints Co. It's called Fiesta. And I got this with the intention of using it for Cinco de Mayo, but I think I want to save this for whenever I get to go to Mexico to visit my family, just because there aren't a lot of Mexico themed kits out there. So I rather hold on to this because I know for sure that I'm going to end up going at some point, hopefully this year, to visit my grandparents and my aunts and uncles. So I think I'm going to set this aside for now and pick a different kit for that week. And since it's May, I tend to use like earlier kits. Um, I don't know, I just associate the month of May with like pink and flowers. So I know I wanna use this one for sure at some point. Um, I think this one doesn't have a week assigned to it because it's Paris themed. And obviously I would like to save this for when I go to Paris. Um, but you know, I don't know when that'll be. I have other, I have so many places I wanna travel to. I don't know, but I definitely wanna use this kit. I haven't used anything from Miss and Meow, so I wanna use it to test out the format. Yeah, I think this would be really pretty for Mother's Day. So we'll use that one the first week of May. Okay, then the second week of May, I have Glam Planner Tara on my list, but I think I already used that one because I it was really pretty. So let's see, just I guess a different like spring kit. We can put this one in there just because it, it's an anytime kit. I think May would be a great time to use it. So this will be for the week of May 10th. So that's good there. Then for the week of May 17th, I have this kit from Caress Press. It was a December mystery, just peachy and the matching foil bundle. I don't know. I really like this art, but I'm not feeling it for May, at least not for this week. Let me see. So I have purple, pink and purple. Yeah, I think I want to do something a little different in the colors. I feel like both of these are kind of neutral looking. So maybe, maybe I'll use this one. The Sweetest Things from Caress Press. It's a super bright pink. 
but it has a cake in it and I would like to use it for a week where I celebrate something with cake. Maybe I should use this one. Let me see what else. So I have the secret garden one that I was gonna use in April, but that can keep waiting. This one, it's too similar in color scheme. I just want something that pops out a bit more. Maybe this. This is the Caress Press Cyber Monday Mystery. I think it's called The Breakfast Club. Hmm. I don't know when else I would use this. But I think that's what the month of May is for, is to just use anytime kits that are pretty. And this one's really pretty, so I think I'll put this one next. So this is for the week of May 17th. We'll use this one. Mm, yeah. And then for the week of May 24th. Hmm. So we use the Caress Press, so let's use one from a different shop. I haven't done a photo kit in a while, and I really love this one. So this one's called Day in the Park, and it's a mini kit from Shop Jessica Hearts. And I got this, I think, last year. It's just so pretty. So yeah, I think this one will be good for the week of May 24th. I really should get the little labels that say the week, but because I like to shift my kids forward, it wouldn't make sense. Okay, and on the last week of May, which is the week May 31st, which is going into June, I will get to that when I get to June. So this is my lineup for May so far. It might change around depending on what I get, but I don't expect any new kits coming in in the next couple of weeks. So I think this should be pretty set in stone. So we have Lavender Fields from Jessica Hartz, La Vie et Belle from Miss and Meow. Then we have Bookworm Mini from Jessica Hartz, Breakfast Club from Caress Press, and then Day in the Park Mini from Jessica Hartz. As you can tell, <laughs> Jessica Hartz is one of my favorite shops. She comes out with so many beautiful um, photo kits. And I just can't use them all, so I haven't bought as many. But definitely check her out if you're into photo kits. They're, her selection is just beautiful. So thanks so much for clicking on my video. What are you using in May? What's your favorite shop? Give this video a like if you liked it. And subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks so much. Bye.